Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is September 24th, 2024. I have more information I want to share with you about October 17th and October 18th, 2024. Not only is it the full moon of the first day of tabernacles, it is also 1,335 days from the Israel Green Pass of February 21st, 2021. After the vaccinations started in December of 2020, Israel rolled out a vaccine passport February 21st, 2021 to give everyone the authorization to buy and sell those who had the vaccine. Without it, you could not buy or sell in Israel. Another very important detail about October 17th and 18th is that the next supermoon, full moon of tabernacles, will be on October 17th at 7.26 a.m. EDT. 7.26 is the number of Harpaso, rapture in the Greek New Testament, 726 Harpaso. This is not only the third of four supermoons in a row, it is also the closest. The closest supermoon of the year, which means this is the biggest moon of the year. The closest means it is the biggest. October 17th, first day of tabernacles, Day 1,335 from the Israel Green Passport, and it is the closest and biggest supermoon of 2024. What I really wanted to share more than anything in this video, though, is the comet A3 Atlas is shown to be easiest to see in the western sky on October 17th. As this is approaching its closest time, closest to Earth, but the easiest to see this, because once it comes by the sun, it's going to take a while for this to be actually visible. And so we have to wait for this comet to move away from the sun to be able to see it the best. And so Earth sky is showing that Comet A3 might be easiest to see on October 17th. So if we look at this comet in the western sky, as the sun is setting, Venus is rising, and the comet is above uh, Venus in the western sky, this will be opposite the sky from the full moon on the other side. And so even though there's going to be a full moon rising on the other side of the sky in the east, uh, this should not affect the uh, possibility of being able to see this, this comet based on the time of the sunset and the time of the rising of the, uh, of the full moon on the other side of the sky. So it's not going to be in the same uh, proximity to the moon for the moon to, to be affecting the visibility of comet A3 Atlas. So this really uh, caught my attention as I'm looking at October 17th and this comet is coming into our atmosphere and they're saying that this is going to be a, a naked eye comet, one of the best comets since Neowise of 2020, uh, visible to the naked eye. And so October 17th could be a very important day and so I was looking at this in Stellarium, and I wanted to see the location uh, of this comet and in conjunction with Venus. And this is very interesting that on October 17th, the day in question, this comet is exactly in the constellation of Ophiuchus, connected to the snake Serpens, who is being crowned with uh, Corona Borealis, where they're talking about a nova star that could explode at any time, which is connected to 
uh, Ophiuchus, it's connected to serpents. Corona Borealis is the crown of the serpent. And they're talking about that star as a, a possibility of being the star of Jacob. And they're expecting an explosion at some point and the explosion to arrive at Earth at some point based on the speed of light. And so all of this in conjunction is happening while this comet is right there at the snake. Now, Ophiuchus would represent the archangel Michael, who's been in a battle with the prince of Persia, with the dragon, with, with Satan, with the, with the enemy, uh, the serpent. And, and so Michael represents the one that is casting out Satan to the earth, casting out the serpent uh, to the earth. Now, so as I got to look into this, I was looking at the uh, this comet in the constellation of Ophiuchus, and the and Venus is in the constellation of Libra. And so I wanted to look at where this comet was on the day of my sign in December of 2012. Because in December of 2012, the sun is in Ophiuchus. And that was where my, my sign uh, took place with the sun in the constellation of Ophiuchus on December 12th of 2012. And this comet back in 2012 was exactly in the same location. I mean, we're talking about the same exact location in the sky from where it was on the day of my sign into where it will be October 17th of 2024. The, the other interesting detail about this is that Venus is also in the same location of uh, in the constellation of Libra on December 12th, 2012, as it will be on October 17th of 2024. So these two details... Uh, were very interesting to me. So I wanted to look up the information from December 12th, 2012 to October 17th, 2024. Whether we are looking at October 17th or October 18th, the number of days is 4,327 days to October 17th and 4,328 days to uh, October 18th. And both of these uh, meanings in the Greek concordance has to do with our blessed hope and the expectation of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 4327 means being ready and willing to give and receive, then expresses expectant waiting for a person where a person is ready and willing to receive all that is hoped for, that is active, looking for, and waiting. And this is the usage of while we wait for the blessed hope. We wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. 4327, from the day of my sign, 4,327 days to October 17th and 4,328 means I expect, wait for, await, think, anticipate. And this is used in 2 Peter 3.12 where it says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God when the heavens will be on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So there are definitely more details connected to day 1,335 from Israel Green Pass, February 21st, 2021. Day 1,335, October 18th, 2024. Inclusive would be October 17th. So day 1,335 overlaps both of these days. The closest 
supermoon of the year, the biggest supermoon of the year, 726 a.m. number of Harpaso, and they're saying that comet A3 Atlas might be easiest to see in the western sky on October 17th. And if we're all looking up, then we're going to be looking right at Michael the Archangel casting out the devil on the first day of Tabernacles, the full moon of Tabernacles of October 17th and 18th, 2024. I pray you guys are all blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.